Hello, hard hats, and welcome back to Construction Simulator, where last episode we finished off the entrance, finally. Uh, took a few episodes, but we got the job done, and it looks pretty good on the outside. Uh, maybe once we finish up the pitch, which is the next job in this campaign of the stadium, uh, we'll see some people running around here. Uh, let's go say hello to Sammy and uh, see what's up here. Um, he was kind of concerned at the end of the last uh, job, but... Um, I think everything's going to be just fine. Okay, listen. I have to tell you how the inspection went. Uh, do tell. The woman walked around, had a look at everything, and then asked me how we constructed the roof of the stands. Of course, I was more than happy to explain, since I'm now your resident expert on the subject. The rest of the event also went well. Now, the only thing left to worry about is the pitch. A drainage system needs to be installed before the grass can be rolled out. At the end, we'll put in the goals. Given all the other adventures we've had here, that should be a piece of cake. Go see a barber, dude. Your beard needs a little bit of work. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and see. Uh, rip the area. Well, I think that will require our labeer. I think we got a labeer dozer. Uh, looks like we got some material that can go here. I don't see where I would need a crane for this job, but maybe to put in pipes because they mentioned a drainage system. Uh, let's go ahead and get the stuff from the building materials store first. Uh, we'll entree, and then one, two, three, one, two. And, and this is all we need? I mean, that's fine by me. Uh, rip up the area. Well, let's go ahead and find our dozer. Where did I park? Is the dozer... There you are. Funny thing is, uh, we were kind of talking about the ripper on the back of the dozer a while ago. And it was like, wow, I, I don't really ever use this thing. Uh, well, guess what? Today we are. Yeah, it looks like this could use a little bit of repair and a little bit of uh, refueling. So the job pays actually pretty well. And I don't think it's going to take us that long, but uh, I, I, I don't like saying that too much because that's going to, you know. I make the easy jobs hard and the hard jobs easy. Uh, I kind of forgot, how do I lower lower the ripper? There we go. Okay, am I not ripping the area? I mean, I'm definitely, I'm ripping something. Um, jobs, yes. Briefing. Drainage. Ripping. Okay, they show me using a grater. Do you not want me to rip? Do you just want me to, like, level out the area? Okay, that doesn't seem to be doing anything either. So what is the grader going to do that I can't do? That, that That's the question I got. Well, you know what? We got the money. Let's jump on out and let's go to the vehicle store. Uh, let's see if I can find... Well, there is a motor grader. There's a case. Uh, we're trying to do... Uh, let's see here. Where is the LaBear? Does LaBear have a motor grader? I don't see one. Uh, does man have one? No, they do not. So, the only motor grader I see is... Well, there is a... Wait, was it a... Where is it? A Sani. Uh, there's a Sani. Um, yeah, we'll purchase it. Why not? It's a quarter of a million. Who cares? And let's see. We want to jump into this one. And, yep, okay. 
perfect landing. Uh, whoop, let's get back into there. Uh, over to here. So it looks like there's like uh, rippers on the back. I wonder why the D9, uh, sorry, the D9, that's uh wrong map. Uh, I wonder why our LeBaire wasn't really working out well for us here. The rib tooth of your construction machine was retracted because you left the construction site. On this, or was that on the, the LeBaire? I'm, I'm probably the LeBaire. Okay, let's go ahead and put down this. Okay, well this is ripping up the area. I wonder why I couldn't use the uh, LeBaire. I mean, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and lift that up. <laughs> That's going to be terrible to drive around in. So this is, this is uh, definitely the first time I've used this type of machine. All right, put the ripper back down. And that working speed is... <laughs> that seems kind of fast, honestly. I don't think I'd want to be ripping up the ground at that speed. Unless you know there's no, like, rocks or hard soil, then I guess it's alright, but still. get this ripped up here we'll move on uh probably after i finish this job though we'll be skipping to the morning hours i think i'll get a pass done this way i keep running into my stands that we built well technically the stands i'm running into i did not build those uh i guess my co-workers probably did I wonder what other jobs I could use this on. I mean, road grading uh, for dirt roads, mainly. I live on a dirt road, and they use this type of machine all the time to level out the dirt roads. Once you start getting too many potholes, or the road just needs a good leveling. Uh, can't quite make that corner. Not too concerned now about driving in a straight line. We're just trying to get the job done. For the speed that can reach for a working speed, I can say the brakes on this thing aren't the greatest, but I probably should be slowing down a little bit before I get to the end. I don't think I've ever seen the grader that does my dirt road have the ripper on the back. I've seen other things like a roller or whatever. But I suppose they don't want to be ripping up the road. They want to be leveling it. That's what they're doing when they go by. Well, the stadium lights are coming on. Got 
Gotta make sure I'm actually in the work zone before I drop down the ripper. I wonder if the dozer would eventually get the job done. Just that I was only. It's only got one ripper on the back compared to. This has got five of them. So maybe over time, if I kept going back and forth with the dozer, it would have started accumulating the percentage done. Probably not what the local people around here want to hear at, uh, let's see, it's 9.30 at night. Early evening hours. A construction vehicle going around ripping up dirt. Although I don't think we're in a residential area. All right, 63% done, so probably about five or six more passes. But considering the working speed, Yeah, the lighting around here is a little weird. The lights keep going on or off. Maybe they're on a sensor. <laughs> As they get close, the sensors are going off and turning on the lights. We're three quarters of the way done. Next will probably be leveling out the ground or... I, I, I may be using the dozer here in a second anyways. Using a whole bunch of equipment in the last couple episodes that I've never used. The uh, the bucket for the crane for doing cement. And now this thing. I'm not really sure what it's called. I didn't really look at what it was called in the store. Even though I just read it. I should know what it is. Uh, we just call it like a grader. That front blade goes down and grades the road. All right, two more passes and I think we got it. Kind of ashamed I'm driving on top of the uh, I guess stone tile outside of the entrance here. Brand new. And we're just driving on it. Alright, don't have to be too precise since we're at 99%. Nope, it's not what I wanted. Alright, clear the marked area. Let's go ahead and lift that up. And we will drive this off the job site somewhat. We'll park it over here.
All right, uh, let's go ahead and take a coffee break. Okay, uh, now we'll jump back into the dozer. Now, if I were to look, I'm guessing they'd want me to use the wheel loader. But as we know, the dozer is the best way to do this type of job. Forgot I was on the camera. I do that often enough. So the only thing with building the stadium first, pretty much, we're not going to get a whole lot of sunlight during the day, I don't think. So it looks like nine more passes will do it, right? If I get 10% every pass, last time I did math. I may actually have to turn the lights on the dozer to see. Well, I mean, I can see, but I know what YouTube's going to do. By the time I upload, it'll be a little bit dark. Don't know what the blade was caught on, but it wouldn't go up at all. Let's see here. Let me go ahead and lights. See what work lights do for us. Probably not a whole lot. I don't I don't really see him doing anything. <laughs> They're on. Did I buy like any any turf? I don't I don't know what I bought at the building materials store. I think we bought some clay piping for the drainage system. At least this side of the stadium is getting some sun now. Gets us halfway there. Probably got to use the excavator to dig up for the piping to lay down for the drainage. I'll probably have to deliver some stones. Then before we know it, we'll have herself, as they're calling it, a pitch. And we'll be done with the whole stadium campaign itself. And we go back work. We got one more job 
uh, the original campaign, as I call him, Mr. Strange. I don't know, who, I can't remember exactly what his uh, title is for the Euro map. We have one more job for him to do. And just like that, in succession, we'll have two campaigns complete. But we're just starting here on the pitch job anyways. I'm kind of hoping to get like 33% of this job done today. It uh, showed like the job time frame was three hourglasses. I think the other ones were like four and five hourglass long time jobs, so it should take as I think the entrance way took us four episodes. I think someone said the hourglasses kind of say that it takes like an hour. So if it's three hour glass long of a type of a job, it should take three hours to do. All right. And it doesn't really matter where I, where I do this one right here. Just need 4%. All right, we'll go park this. I'm going to start piling up my equipment out here, I guess. I mean, I may need this again. Let's see what comes up next. All right, excavate trench. So that'll be the excavator. And I'm not quite sure I know where that is. I want to say it's uh, around here somewhere. <laughs> I think I tried digging a trench with it not long, well I say not long ago, but it was in this campaign. Is it over there? It is over there. Oh, can't get him from this side. The excavators, you gotta give them just a second to get going. Eventually, you will get around the corner and see exactly what we gotta do. Now, usually, <laughs> depending on how this goes, I could switch over to the dozer and clear this out, but it works for the most part. All right, since we're actually on this end, let's spin around here. All right, let's get the camera kind of like, uh, like that should work, I would assume. Now, someone uh, did mention, I think... Oh, that, that was not even close there, Peanut. Nice job. Uh, back Dragon with a bucket in the ground. But I still think the bucket's going to have a limit. Alright, if each bucket is like 4%, then... It's not going to be too bad. Let me see if I leave that there and back up. Well, we can see the bucket filling up. But I'm not quite lined up to be doing that. But that does work wonderfully. So, good call on the back dragging. 
So if I get the bucket kind of like in that position there. Now what I'm watching is the bottom right hand corner. You can see that yellow line going up. That's the capacity of our bucket. Don't know exactly how much I have to get, so do the best we can. Let me lift that actually back up. I'm trying to get myself centered here. Probably got the bucket too deep as well. See if I raise it up a little bit. Let me just scoop that out there, try to get the excess. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Somewhere right about there ought to do it. That is dragging me to one side, but that's fine. Don't know if the bucket actually has to be curved for gravity, to, you know. Gravity's going to do its thing. At least I'm doing the job as they intended with the right equipment. I'm not using a bulldozer. I'm right, just trying to get my excavator over where it kind of should be. Still kind of pull me off to the other side. Oh, bucket's full. Wasn't paying attention. Kind of hoping that dirt will disappear as it does most of the time. So I hope I don't have to work in that area. Uh, 88% done. I always turn the wrong way when I'm on tracks. Uh, looks like we completed. All right, I'm going to dump it over here because that's where I've been dumping the rest of it. Uh, clear the marked area. My... All right, well, we'll just... We'll just back up here. Like I clear the marked area, right? You can check mark it off. All right, let's go ahead and leave that there. So I'm guessing what we'll do is uh, pallets of PVC piping. So that just needs to be dropped there. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to use our 
mobile crane. I mean, it's a little bit over, over the top for what we need to do. I do have, though... I think we got ourselves a truck with a small crane. Now, I could even use our man truck to move it over. But we're going to use this guy. I say, make the corner, dude. Okay, we don't need to be... Uh, maybe just move it forward so the crane... I don't think I need to lift it up that high, but I just want to make sure I don't hit this uh, cross beam that's at the back. We should be... Right, I might be just a little bit too close here. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that close. All to move this a few feet. It's what we like to call overkill. That is all the building material stuff that we had to buy, apparently. Uh, excavate trench. Where? Where, where are we? I mean, it seems like... We're, oh, there we go. Okay, so where am I digging these trenches? Okay, way over here. Well, we can back drag like we just did. And we will use the excavator. Dozer may be a little bit quicker, but try to be a little bit more realistic of what we're doing here. I think this job is going to be one of those where it kind of starts off slow. And then as we get more stuff done, those type of jobs that we're going to be doing further on down the line will go a little bit quicker. Oh, we got three trenches to dig. And I piled the dirt right on top of one of them. So you can see the excavator, the left track is going to be a little bit more elevated than the right one. So I think that's what drags me to one side when I do this. may take me just a little bit longer to do. Gosh darn it. Gotta go easy with that adjustment. We 
this is working out rather well. Although I do need to realign myself here. you think I'm trying to go nice and smooth I'm messing all up story of my life no this way <laughs> well we are full too busy trying to watch where I'm going and not watching the bucket uh, let me just go ahead and get another scoop here out of the here not be going in a straight line but as long as I'm digging out the dirt in the trench that's all I care about the one thing I'm looking at is we got three trenches to dig well plus this uh, plus this uh, end piece why can I why is it backing up weird? Doesn't like backing up over this uh, part up here. Come on, you can do it. So there's one trench done. I think I'll start on the further right hand side one, then get the middle one, then work at the end piece. Hopefully now that I'm working on level ground that the excavator will not shift to one side or the other when I back up. seems to be filling up faster as well. Probably all the hard work's at the beginning. The back dragon, I think, is the quickest way to do this. And 
probably should clear out the dirt before the bucket gets completely full. Uh, okay, we're not picking up anything there, so... Wasn't deep enough? There we go, I'll pick up the dirt now. Try to get the teeth under the surface area that we got to clear down to. I think that's the key. Am I hitting the? Oh, we're we're at the stands. Now he's got to get the middle one. Try to get myself centered up right away. Hope I don't have to get further than the pile of dirt. It looks like I won't have to. Sun goes down, down. I would like to finish this job. Uh, let's see if the lights do anything here. Work lights. Headlights. Not really seeing any difference, but we'll leave them on. A lot of dirt work in this episode, but shouldn't come too much of a surprise when we're working on a pitch. I was hoping to be about 85% done when I got finished with this row here. And then we get the last 15% when we do the last trench.
Uh, we'll dump this over here. All right, 88%. That's not too bad. Don't know how it's going to back up when I'm half in a trench, half on higher elevation. Trying to get back centered up on the trench itself. Got 94% and already it's dragging me to the right. Alright, I think back dragging here is going to be a pain in the butt, so. It might be better just to do it like this. Especially when we're 99% done. Alright, let's get off the uh, job site here. Alright, unpackage construction material. Well, you know what? We got plenty of light in here. So maybe we'll just work through the night for a change. So they're filling in the pipe. Fill in area with soil. Well, let's go ahead and get all these unpackaged. And we gotta dig another trench? Another trench? Alright, they filled that one in. Uh, fill the area with soil. Uh, I don't know where my dump truck is. Uh, but apparently it's not there. Um... Oh, my pickup truck is there. Where's my dump truck? We, we, we do have one, right? <laughs> Vehicle fleet. Um, I have no idea where it is, but we'll enter and find out where we show up. That's a <laughs> I have no idea where it is. Okay, so we're down down here. Must be while I was doing a job for Mr. Strange. Now I could probably just use the dozer and backfill. Since soil is kind of on the cheap side. Uh, let's see, where am I backfilling? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's in the dump truck. <laughs> I don't know if it's soil or not. Let's see if this is soil. I guess it is. All right, you know what? I may actually try to backfill by using the dozer.
All right, where did I put, uh, whoop, jumped out this way. Uh, excavator, I think the dozer is down over here. We'll do a bit of backfilling. Apparently leaving the lights on my equipment also is not going to drain the battery. Boy, the shadow that casts in front of it, though. <laughs> it's like a mean machine coming on through. Just trying to see how much that's going to consider backfill. If it seems like it's not doing enough, then we'll just grab the dump truck and do the rest that way. I'm not sure I got enough soil here to do it all. I kind of forgot, can I angle this blade? I can go up and down with it, but I cannot angle the blade on this one. I don't think I should be digging down. I'm trying to lift up the blade, but the blade's really not lifting up. Not the way it's intended. Yeah, it might be easier with the dump truck, but we'll do a little bit more. I mean, I could get myself rather close percentage-wise getting this job done. Let's go ahead and get the rest done with the dump truck. Alright, so not reset. Fill up and gravel, sand, soil. And we'll go down the middle, I think. If I don't get stuck. Let me try to straddle the pipe here.
All right, I mean, not too bad. But I think to make it a little bit easier, possibly fill up soil is, keep forgetting I'm on the camera. Is back up while filling up and is the dirt really going in? Doesn't seem like we're getting Where's all my dirt going? Just filling in with soil doesn't seem to be going as well as planned, I think. See if I can lower the blade and get this to level out a little bit more. I wish the camera would reset every time you get into something. I wish it would stay right where it was last time you were in it. That seemed to work out pretty well. Trying to get it to curve that way is not going to work. Let's go ahead and get out of the work zone. Probably should be driving over the pipe with the dozer, but... Alright, we need more soil. Got it. I love how I'm filling the area with soil and we were at 90%, now we're down to 84%. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't quite get that too much, but whatever. This is taking me a lot longer than I thought it would to backfill with soil. Flipping camera. <laughs> A 
This better get me up to... Why are you digging further down? Stop it. Hooray, 100% done. Thing is, I'm probably gonna have to do it again on the other side. <laughs> Alright, we clear the marked area. Alright, so that leaves digging out the trench down here. But, uh, yep, yeah, I think that's where we're gonna have to call it for today. I may uh, get some of this trench digged out before the beginning of the next episode. I was hoping to get up to 33%, but 24% is not too bad. And the sun is getting ready to rise, so we did work through the night, so. Uh, yeah, not too bad, I suppose. I, like I said, I think the rest of the job will pick up speed a little bit. I think the jobs will get a little bit faster to do. But uh, then again, what do I know? But anywho, if you made it this far in the video and you, and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button. Helps out the channel more than you know. And if you think about doing so and you haven't done so yet, may as well hit that subscribe button as well to see more crappy content like you saw here today. But anywho... That's what we're going to wrap it up for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.